Hey again gang, what I got for you today here is a build I did this last weekend. Uh, this PCB is a, the Reboot 2.5 Delay. It is available at TonePad.com and what I did here is I built two of them into a guitar pedal enclosure called it Twin Delay and uh, basically it's got uh, separate ins and outs so you can use it as two separate delays uh, or you can actually use them in a chain. You can see I got the nice glittery uh, pink case here. Beautiful, beautiful paint job uh, from pedalenclosures.com. And the uh, the graphics are just a water slide decal. You can find information about that on the internet. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's plug this thing in here. Take a take a glance at how it sounds. Just get that plugged in there. Got my output. Oh, and input. The way I have this set up is, if you just patch into one of the inputs, it goes through both delays. If you patch into the second input jack, the switching jack removes the, f the first delay signal from the second delay. So, so here's delay number one, here's delay number two, and uh, I've got the fancy schmancy pink LEDs that look great. So let's just go ahead and give this a shot. Turn up my piano here just a little bit. Okay, and you'll have to bear with me. As usual, there's always something to bear with me on, but in this case, it's my uh, keyboard playing. But uh, let me see if I can get a good angle on this here. All right, so there's a dry signal. And let's go ahead and bring in delay number one. So let's turn the mix up about halfway. Echo, the echo is the repeats. Mix, of course, is the uh, level of echoes you're going to hear. So as you can see, you got the definite control. You can set the echoes up and, and let's just get some long repeats going. So you can hear how that's going. Now, you've got your one delay. Now what we can do is bring on the second delay. Oh, I gotta turn the mix up here. You get more of a double tapping effect. Let's turn the mix up of both of these set the rates a little bit more apart. Want to get really crazy, we can turn these both. interesting double taps going on. One of the other things I, do, I like to do here is turn the, uh, the echo level all the way down but the mix fully up. Let's see, let's go. We keep both delays on. So that's almost a little slap back but let's see what we can do here. Dial this in. Okay, let's dial this one in a little bit later than that. Get a nice, uh, nice kind of a double tap there, so you can program your echoes in to be. It's almost like having just a.
just having control over two taps, pretty nice. You can turn the, uh, the echo up and actually have it ride out. Now granted, the, uh, the Rebo delay definitely uh, is a little bit kind of, uh, I don't want to say lo-fi because it's amazing, but when you turn the, the echo time all the way up, you will hear some noise uh, come in. Now it's, it's noise from pushing the rate of the PT2399 delay chip to its limits. It's about 580 milliseconds of delay at the max rate. <laughs> You can, you can hear you get a pretty nice long delay time. So, uh, kind of an interesting thing, not really voltage controllable, I am, I am a big analog guy, but uh, this is technically a digital delay with some analog filtering techniques built onto the PCB. Um, really though, you know, something that's, uh, it's, it's got a good sound to it, uh, I'm very pleased with my build, and um, it's one of those things that I will definitely use quite a bit. Uh, and that's really the whole point of, of building something for yourself. The PCB is running about $14 each. The parts, uh, it's just three pots, um, a chip that you can get for about two bucks and a TLO72. In my case, I used a higher quality op amp. So uh, probably looking at about $30 each for the parts plus whatever case you choose to put them in. And of course, you can make these into a single case, but uh, you know, for me, I wanted something a little bit different. Thanks again for stopping by. Uh, See you in the next video.